Alsa and Anna, a magical tale to read. Hello, beloved readers. Today, I have an exciting story to share with you. I hope it brings you joy and excitement. Today, Luna have a book named Alsa and Anna Bedtime Story, Elsa Bedtime Story for Kid. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe to the Kid channel for more stories. Thank you for reading. So, here we go. In the enchanted kingdom of Arendelle, surrounded by snowy mountains and icy fjords, lived two sisters, Elsa and Anna. Elsa was born with a magical power to create snow and ice, a secret she kept hidden to protect everyone especially her younger sister. This story unfolds the adventure of Elsa and Anna as they navigate the challenges brought by Elsa's powers, which once threatened to doom their kingdom. It's a tale of sisterhood, bravery, and the discovery of true love, where the cold is not something to fear, but an integral part of their family legacy. Chapter 1. The Secret Power in the quiet corridors of the Arendelle Castle, young Princess Elsa discovered her unique ability to conjure snow and ice with just a touch or a flick of her hand. She loved playing with Anna using her magic, creating winter wonderlands inside their castle. One night, their play became too wild, and Anna was accidentally hurt by Elsa's magic. Horrified and scared, Elsa called for their parents, who quickly secured help from the hidden trolls in the forest. The trolls healed Anna, but warned Elsa of her power's danger, suggesting it was best to keep it hidden from everyone, including Anna. Their parents decided to close the castle gates to protect their daughters and the kingdom. Elsa isolated herself in her room, spending every waking moment trying to control her growing powers, while Anna grew up wondering why her sister suddenly shut her out. Chapter 2. The Coronation Day Years passed, and the tragic day came when Elsa and Anna's parents were lost at sea during a storm. The castle remained closed until Elsa came of age to be crowned queen. On Coronation Day, the castle gates finally opened, and Anna was thrilled to meet people and perhaps find the companion she had always longed for in Elsa. Elsa was terrified that her powers would be revealed and shamed, but she managed to keep them hidden during the ceremony. At the reception, however, Anna asked for Elsa's blessing to marry Prince Hans, whom she had just met. Elsa's refusal led to an argument, causing her to accidentally unleash her powers in front of everyone. Fearful and branded a monster, Elsa fled Arendelle, unintentionally casting the kingdom into eternal winter. Chapter 3. The Journey Begins Determined to bring back summer and mend their relationship, Anna set out to find Elsa, leaving Hans in charge. Along her journey, she teamed up with Kristoff, an ice seller whose business was now pointless due to the eternal winter, and his loyal reindeer, Sven. They encountered Olaf, a friendly snowman Elsa had unwittingly brought to life who dreamed of experiencing summer. The group reached Elsa's ice palace in the mountains. Anna tried to persuade her to return, but Elsa, still fearful of harming her sister, accidentally struck Anna in the heart with her ice magic. Realizing her sister was cursed, Elsa created a massive snow creature to chase them away desperately trying to protect Anna by isolating herself again. Chapter 4. The Race Against Time Kristoff brought Anna to the trolls, who revealed that only an act of true love could thaw her frozen heart. Believing a kiss from Hans would break the curse, they raced back to Arendelle. Meanwhile, Elsa, deciding to return after realizing she could not live with her fear forever, was captured by Hans' men and brought back to the kingdom. Anna reached Hans, but instead of saving her, he revealed his plan to take over the throne by eliminating both sisters. He left Anna to freeze, 
locked in a room and went to execute Elsa, claiming she had killed Anna. Chapter 5 The Act of True Love Kristoff, realizing his feelings for Anna, rushed back to save her. Meanwhile, Elsa escaped her prison, and as Hans was about to kill her, Anna, seeing her sister in danger, threw herself between them, turning to solid ice just as Hansa's sword struck. Her sacrifice for Elsa constituted the act of true love needed to reverse the curse. Anna thawed, and Elsa realized that love was the key to controlling her power. Elsa thawed Arundel, bringing back Thummer and learning to use her abilities to bring happiness rather than fear. The sisters reconciled, promising never to shut each other out again, while Hans and his allies faced justice. Anna and Kristoff's bond grew stronger, and Elsa was embraced as a good and powerful queen. The End This expanded and detailed version of Frozen enhances the original story, emphasizing the emotional depth and growth of its characters, suitable for a captivating bedtime story. We have reached the end of the story. Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with Luna on Teepkid Channel. Bye. I'll see you next time.